Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the owner of The In Groove in Phoenix, Arizona. We're a retail brick and mortar record store. And today I'm going to go over the copies of Miles Davis's Kind of Blue that you should own, that should be in your collection. These are the best pressings, the best sounding issues of these records there are. I'm going to start with the original Mono 6i. This is a 6i, the way it got its name was the little Columbia logos on the side of the label, they kind of look like eyeballs. And there's six of them. In the 60s, this album came out in 1959, but in the second pressing in the 60s, they went to a 2i logo. Now the stereo copy came out the same year, 1959, 6i label as well, significantly rarer than the mono copy, goes for quite a bit more too. Stereo issues in near mint condition go anywhere from four to six hundred dollars now. Uh, there was a error with the tape deck when they were recording this album, and side A of all the original stereos, as opposed to the mono copies, run a little bit slower. Uh, in 1992, Mark Wilder discovered that and corrected the issue. So a lot of the subsequent releases were speed corrected, but that was only present on the stereo copies on side A. So, so what? Freddie Freeloader in blue and green. This is the 200 gram classic records reissue. This was mastered by Bernie Grunman. Great sounding record. Classic, had really clean vinyl when you got a good pressing. A lot of these though, when they were new, they came out of the packaging with surface damage. But if you get a good clean copy, I recommend buying this copy, buying this album used. Uh, I sought this out new after Classic Records had gone out of business, and I got two bad copies before I said, I'm just going to get a used copy. This way I know exactly what I'm getting. Great sounding record, all analog sourced. Classic actually kept the incorrect speed on side one because they felt that was a little more true to the original, which it was. It was the only way it had been put out at that point in time. Now this is the digital issue. This is the music on vinyl. Now this was sourced from 24-bit 96K files. Immaculate pressing surface, very clean. Most music on vinyl stuff has really, really low surface noise, really, really clean vinyl. But again, this is a digitally sourced record. I personally don't care for digital records if they don't have to be digital. There's a lot of variations of this out there that are analog. Although this is a phenomenal sounding digitally sourced record, I myself would avoid this copy. If you have the means, try to track out one of the analog copies. This is the newest reissue. This is done by MFSL, Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs. This is a double disc, 45 RPM. I personally love the sound of this. This is my go-to stereo copy. A uh, little bit heavy in the bass. A lot of people aren't used to that. Immaculately quiet sides, really, really clean, quiet pressing, really has a lot of power. And it's inexpensive, you know? You get a new copy of this for 60 bucks. It's still available today. It's a little bit more of a pain because it's a 45 RPM record. Classic did it in a 45 RPM issue as well. Uh, the classics would be, you know, they're right up there, but me personally, if I'm going to listen to this record, I'm going to listen to one of two versions. I'm going to listen to original 6 eye stereo, or I'm going to listen to the MFSL copy. But uh, I think it has a great, natural, warm, open sound. One of the best copies uh, out there. Now the four that I think worth owning are the 6 eye mono, 6 eye stereo, the MFSL, 45 RPM, and the Classic Records, 33, that's it. I've had Japanese pressings, I've had two eyes, I've had the 70s reissue, the 70s issue sounds horrible. The two eyes not bad, but seek out a six eye, much better sounding record. But again, I think the ultimate is gonna be stereo six eye, and the MFSL double disc 45 RPM reissue. All right, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're going to do future videos, do similar titles. If you have any suggestions, albums you'd like to see me cover, put it in the comments. Until next time.